Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Haley, and this is how we take care of some of our aloe plants like that one. And let's start over by taking a look at here. Uh, my lovely wife, Michelle, transplanted a lot of the babies in these pots, and they were kind of growing up out of the side, and that would get them growing nice and straight. This one I just cut at the root, and I left that whole root system in there because I know babies will grow up out of that, and I planted the mother next to it. But I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. If you come over here, this one... I don't know, it's a little messy and I don't see any really babies coming out and I can already tell how weak the root system is. So I kind of want to just start over on this one. And there's actually a little baby growing out of that. So I'm going to cut this off. And pull out some of this dead stuff. Now, if you get in real close here, I can tell that's kind of like where the root is. You see a line going around here. If I cut above that, I risk killing this plant. Although as I take some of these leaves off the bottom most first, that line will move up the stem. So I'm going to cut it off below that right about here just to make it a little bit easier and start pulling these off sequentially from the bottom. I think this one might be the next one. Or is it this one? I can't even tell. Yeah, it's this one here. Now this leaf is actually pretty thick and healthy. Yeah, it's beautiful. And actually, Valerie from Texas asked if we could send some leaves. She ordered a two-pack from us last week, and it didn't make it on time. And instead of reshipping it, she ordered, decided to order aloe by the bucket. And we're gonna refund the two pack, ship the bucket, but we should have some room in the box. I'm gonna clean some of these up. And Valerie, if we can fit them in this one, I whacked as I was doing some gardening. So I'm gonna leave that one out. But you can see when we do it this way, it stays intact pretty well. You have the whole leaf and it's nice and thick and juicy. So that's some good aloe. And let's take at least one more. All right, now, that root is moving up a little bit. I could probably get away with cutting a little more off. And now all I need to do is stick it back in the ground. You just gotta get yourself some good shovels. <laughs> Dig a little hole, stick it in there, and we'll try to grow it nice and straight. Now. What I expect, since I did that to it, I expect the roots to grow back much stronger and healthier and better than what we had. And I'm gonna move on to the next one and get some more leaves for Valerie.